Hello, hello, good night, uh, everybody. How are you guys? Hey, hello. Somebody hear me, by the way. Hi, guys. Hi, Patty. Hi, Anita. Hi, Olga. Good night, guys. Good night, everybody. Hello. Do you guys hear me, by the way? Can you hear me, guys? Yes. Yes? Okay. How are you? <laughs> so, so. So, so. What happened, Anita? My English is bad. No, don't worry about that. You will improve your English, okay? I promise you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, and I thank you for being here. That's amazing. Uh, also, I think it's, it's the first time that you've been with us, Anita. It's the first time? Um, this course, yes. Oh, this course, yes. Okay. Oh, so I want to see your face because I want to meet you in person. If it's possible that you can turn it on the camera, that would be amazing. <laughs> oh, Anita, hi, how are you? Oh my God, you're so lovely, uh, lady. You're good. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, hey. hey. Where do you live, Anita? Mexicano. Oh, wow, that's far away. Is it raining? No? Um, it's now, no. No, no. But no. It, it looks like maybe later. Yeah. Oh, that would be nice. Because you can fall asleep like a baby, right? Yes. Do you like uh, rain? Do you like the rain? Yes. Yeah. Why do I you like, like it. it? Why do you uh, like it? Um, a little rain. A no little. More. Oh, yes, of course. Right. Yes. Yeah. Because it. it uh, do you sleep, say right? truenos? Thunder. 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 I don't like thunder. It scares you. Like, woo, right? Yes. <laughs> Do you remember that there was a cartoon named Thundercats? Yes. Okay, so that, that's the Thundercats. Cat uh, thunder. Treno, th yeah, Thundercats. Uh, okay. thunder. thunder is Treno, Spanish. Uh, okay. Oh, but today we're in level three, right? So we're going to speak for English and Spanish. Sorry. <laughs> My English pronunciation is very bad. Don't, of course not. I have yes. heard your pronunciation and I like it. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Well, you know what? Um, I love that the students make an effort, okay? Yeah, make it like go an extra mile, okay? Because it's 50-50, okay? I will try to do my best to help you, but you're doing pretty good, actually. And with me, Anita, you have two choices. Or a speak, or a speak. Which one you prefer? <laughs> <laughs> speak right <laughs> yeah definitely yeah you see so you're going to speak don't worry okay and if you make a mistake that's okay don't worry uh practice makes perfection and um what i'm going to advise you and all the guys is that when you're trying to express yourself try to use the vocabulary that you know that you already know um maybe there's a little maybe but does i matter. don't know understand um this um my mind mm -hmm. is pain is uh, spanish Espanol, oh spanish. yeah mm -hmm. and this and this Oh, so they are not connected. <laughs> your brain and your mouth are not connected. <laughs> yes. Don't. I mouse this in English. Mm -hmm. My brain is in uh, Spanish. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I will help you change your brain from now on. Okay, yes. You're going to change it, okay? Don't worry. I will help you change it. That, it is just a step by step. Okay? okay, but uh, as long as you practice and uh, do your homeworks and participate, that would be amazing. Don't worry, okay? Um, while you're learning, you're going to learn new vocabulary. So that will help you to uh, improve your English and also to improve your speaking. But meanwhile, or in the meantime, 
Just choose the vocabulary that you know. Don't I complicate it. Uh, real. Mm -hmm. Very good. Uh, it's my uh, easy. Oh, uh, yes. And listen this. So, 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 so. My problem is a pronunciation. The pronunciation. Oh, and you know what? You will meet two girls that used to be with me in the model, the past model, Miss Patty and Miss Adela can let you know how I work. Yes, I remember Patty was like shy, like, I don't want to speak, teacher, I don't want to speak. But you can listen to her. Now she speaks uh, better. Is it right, Patty? Uh, hello, teacher. Hi, Patty. Good night. Uh, uh, very good. You see, very good. Okay, you see, Anita is brand new student. Is a new classmate. Anita, Anita, Hi. yes. So, nice to meet you. You see? Nice now to she's, meet you too. Yes. <laughs> Patty was a person that doesn't want to speak, but now she speaks, right, Patty? <laughs> yeah, because um, there's no choice with me. Speak or speak, either or. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but she speaks. <laughs> also, Adela. Adela speaks really good. Right, Adela? Hello. Hi, good night. Good, good, night. good evening. How are you? You're welcome, Anita. Thank nice you. to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Oh, you Thank know, you. Adela always prepares some delicious food for her family. <laughs> and she shares the recipes with us. So that's amazing, right? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. We have Olga Sosa. That's a new girl. Hey, you know what, guys? I'm so happy because it's going to be only girls' night. Woohoo! <laughs> That's great, right? Uh -huh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ronald is here. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Sorry, Ronald. <laughs> Hi, Ronald. How are you, sir? How are you, lawyer? Hey, lawyer. How are you? Hey, hello. How are you? Pretty good. You know what, Umberto? Uh, yeah. What? I was I was speaking and um and communicate with my ladies that I was so happy because it was supposed to be ladies night. But guess what? You appear and I was like, oh my god. So and I show up. Exactly. And I was like, no. <laughs> okay. No, stop. Okay, that will never happen again. So, oh my God, Umberto's here. <laughs> no, but I'm so happy to see you again. So, how are you been? Tell me, how's your life going so far? Well, I'm fine. Thanks. Thanks for asking. Yay. And I would... I'd like to see you again. Me because too. Because you are a good, a good teacher. And you're a great student, sir. <laughs> <laughs> We're a big duncan between each other, right? <laughs> Hey, uh, Anita, you know what Big Duncan is? <laughs> yeah, right? You know that already, guys, right? B Anita, do you remember Jojo? Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so when somebody wants to get along like this with a the teacher, they are Big Duncan, son Jojos, right? Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I'm just teasing you. Um, estoy bromeando. I am teasing you. <laughs> Anita, when I'm joking with everybody, when I make a joke with everybody, I said I'm joking, okay? okay? But when I make a joke with one person in a specific, in this teasing case you. with Umberto, teasing you, okay? <laughs> Do you understand, Anita? So, so. So, so. Okay, <laughs> who, who wants to help me? Okay, Umberto, thank you. Explain to her, please. <laughs> what? Uh, You're going to be the teacher for two seconds. Go ahead. Well, you, you, you say that when you speak with someone and you make a joke uh -huh. specifically with, with someone, uh -huh. uh, you, you have to say, I'm teasing you. Exactly. Very good. Do you understand, Anita? No? Okay. Uh, okay, I will try to, uh, I don't want to speak Spanish. No. Okay. Yes, Anita, you see, Anita, you're joking, right? I'm speaking to you, right, Anita? I'm speaking to you right now, and I'm making jokes. <laughs> because you're laughing. So, I'm just talking to you. No, with somebody else, no, only with you. And I'm making jokes to you. And I make you laugh. Only you. 
So when I'm doing that, or when I react like that way, in English, you said, I'm teasing you. See? Now you're, are, do you understand? Yeah. Very good. You see? And thank you for my <coughs> second teacher hand, Mr. <laughs> Umberto, by the way. Oh my God, there's some brand news. Yeah, we do have Melvin. We do have Maria. How are you, girl? Hey, where have you been? Uh, oh, I'm so happy that I have another student. Oh, very good. Okay, hi. How are you, Maria? Hey. Fine, fine. And you? Pretty good. I'm so happy to see you again. Me too. Me too. Hey. Because I'm learning with you. Yeah, and I'm learning with you too, so that's nice. Maria used to be uh, my student with like, right? Like, I think like a five months ago, right? Something like that, but now she's No, back. no. Three? three? Uh, no, three months. Three yes, months, I right? think yeah. so. Uh -huh. Three months, right? Yeah, so we're three? good. Yes. Yeah, three or four, something like that, yeah. Okay. So yes, I, yes, three I or four, some yes. Of you. Uh -huh. But uh, I, we have new guys here. We have uh, Alain Calderon. He's new. Nice to meet you, sir. How are nice you? Nice to meet you, teacher. <laughs> I'm good. Thank you. And you? Ah, pretty, pretty good. And so happy. And if you have noticed, I have a lot of energy. Yeah, <laughs> I saw that. Yeah. Yes, I already <laughs> drank my cup of coffee just in case, right? You know, the black coffee, because I need black coffee to move on, you know? Mm hmm there you yeah. go. Hey, nice to you. meet you. Nice to meet you. And welcome to the jungle. Sorry. <coughs> welcome to the class. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, teacher. <laughs> My nice pleasure. Nice to meet all guys, too. Yay. Hey, thank you. Hey, Jose. Jose Ismael. Hey. What happened? Hi, how are you? Yeah. Did you shave your beard, by the way? Yes, I Oh, my can. God. You're the jungle. <laughs> you're the jungle. I, I, no jungle, right? Jungle, no, is when you have the animals. No, no, jungle, right? Jungle. Jungle, yeah. all right. Thank oh my you. God, yeah. And you know what? You look whiter. Whiter, that white color? Whiter, yes. yeah. <laughs> oh my God, oh my God. You cannot imagine. You see, there's a person that can change completely when they do something different, right? Well, that's good. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, and, and you know what? We can see your smile much better. Yeah, it's it, good. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Okay, guys, hold on, girls. Okay, it looks handsome. <laughs> all right, very good. And Umberto's is smiling at that. Yeah, <laughs> we have all another girl here. Yeah, we have Melvin Velasquez. We do also have Maria Colindres. Hey, how are you? We do have Helen nice. as well. Hey, and we do have Mr. Vladimir. Wow, that's great. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Uh, we want to see you. Then tomorrow, please, teacher. This oh, day, no, I, today you're I don't a disaster. Show. Okay, okay. <laughs> That's okay. I'm just kidding. I, I, I out of all of my house and... and uh, ah, yes. okay. Okay, okay. I understand. Don't worry. But tomorrow, tomorrow okay? Tomorrow, please. Tomorrow. You tomorrow. promise. Okay. You bet. Yes. Okay. Yes, I promise. I promise. Okay, so you're going to shave your beard. You're going to like comb your hair, right? Yes. You okay. take a shower. Uh, yes, yes, please. <laughs> okay. I'm just dizzy. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. But I'm so happy that even though you're here, so we're good on that. Thank cool. you. Thank, Thank you. you. Nice to meet you to all my my partners. Yeah. Okay. We have also Carlitos. All right, Carlitos. Hello, teacher. Hello. How are you? <laughs> Fine. How are you? Pretty good. So happy to see you again. That's amazing. Sorry, Sorry for the delay, but I had an issue with the Pasco. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. I, I, yes, I forgive you because it's the first uh, class and because it's Monday morning, right? And it's really hard for us to start Monday morning. Imagine that computers. Yes, so I understand that perfectly. Okay. But hopefully it never happen again. I'm just kidding. That's okay. <laughs> I'm so happy to have you here. I'm so happy. I miss you guys. I have Helen also. I need, oh my God, we have Noemi. And look at her, by the way. Look at her. She looks like fancy, right? Oh my <laughs> God. She's so an elegant woman. Oh, good. That's great. Don't you think so, guys? 
She's an elegant woman, right? Oof. I love your earrings. I always love your earrings, Andrea. Yeah, I know, Emmy. I love it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, my God. You see, she said, okay, it's a first class, Monday morning. I have to get ready and look fancy. Why not? Good. <laughs> Very good. We have Vladimir Adeldaño. Hey, how are you, sir? I'm fine. I'm so happy to have you in today's class. There you go. Okay. So you have, uh, maybe you have a new classmates. Maybe there are some that you already know. Okay, but hopefully we can get along together, okay? Oh, some of, your, of you already have been with me in the past model, and you know how I work. That I always ask for homework and give homework, right? And make you speak or speak, whatever you prefer, actually, yes. So you're going to speak with me, definitely, right? Olguita Sosa, how are you? <laughs> like, oh my God. Yeah. Hey, you got to be prepared with me because I'm you afraid, don't know what I'm, I'm going to ask your name. <laughs> Hello, how are you, girl? Hello. Good, very good, thanks, and you? Oh, fantastic, with a lot of energy. Yeah, okay. with a lot of energy. I see, I yes. see. Yes, no, 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 and to be honest with you, this is not a half of my energy. <laughs> I almost, <clears throat> I'm in my 30s, and I live it like that way, right? <laughs> I'm in my 30s, and uh, you know what? I have um, energy. My coworkers used to, used to let me know, hey, you know what? I'm 20 something, but I think I, you have more energy, Tommy. Yeah, that could be a possibility. Yes, <laughs> I'm a hyper girl. Very I'm good, a, very yes. good. So we're going to have a lot of energy. We're going to work, speak, and whatever. Okay, so welcome okay. to the jungle. <laughs> Sorry, welcome to the class. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> thank, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. All right, I won a meal card. Oh my goodness. Mr. Amilcar Perez, how are you? I'm so great. You're so great? Oh, fantastic. <laughs> New word. He's so great. Very good. In like the donation. <gasps> because you know what? If you said, I'm so great, I won't believe you. But if you said, I'm so great, you say, you say it and you show it in your personality and in your face. So that means that you are great. Excellent. <laughs> and you see, and you know what, guys? I'm a lucky girl. I'm a lucky teacher because I do have classmates and I do have um, students that they have a pretty good smile. All of you have a really good smile like this. Smile. Like you see? Smile. Yeah. Smile. Jose has a beautiful smile. smile. Humberto also. Amilcar as well. Yeah. Amari also. Noemi as well. Carlito. Oh my goodness. Everybody has a beautiful smile. And I like it. Very good. That's contagious. No, you're contagious. You know, when you see somebody smiling, what provokes you is to smile as well. Right, guys? Yeah. All righty. Let me check. Mm, who else is missing? Is everybody here? Let me check. <laughs> Just in case. Yeah, yeah, I think everybody's here. Fantastic. All right, guys. <clears throat> Tell me something. <clears throat> um, what do you expect? Okay, I don't want to listen to the old guys because I know where, where you would like to, to, uh, to reach your goals, but I want to listen, for example, Anita, Olga, uh, Alain, Amilcar, and um, Vladimir. What are your expectations for this course? Oh my God, Rox is here, yay. <laughs> uh-huh volunteer big team sorry okay thank you so much okay, go ahead sir what <laughs> okay what is your what is exactly your expectation or what are your expectations for this model what do you want to achieve uh well first of all i would like to improve more my um vocabulary mm -hmm. and my grammar and uh, a little bit of my pronunciation. Oh, oh, that's amazing. All right. Very good. And you know what, Patty, when you say grammar, she's like, Ugh. she loves grammar by heart, 100%. And you know what? You're lucky because I'm a teacher who is grammarholic. I love it. And they, let, they, they can let you know because I'm really picky with grammar. 
yeah? I told my guys, you know what? I don't care how you, sp how you speak or how you write Spanish, but I do care how you speak and you write English. So you need to use a comma, you need to use a period, you need to use a dot, you need to use the exclamation mark, question mark, boop, eh, capital letters, all cases, etc. Yes, so you're going to learn a grammar with me, okay? <laughs> And today we're going to learn a grammar topic. Can you imagine? I know, Patty, that you're so excited. I know that. That you cannot hide it, right? <laughs> Very good. Yeah, we're going to learn about all your horses. All righty. Who else? Who other big team volunteer? Vladimir, thank you. You're next. Go ahead. <laughs> um, my expectation is uh, talk or speak uh, a little bit more. Um, because mm -hmm. I understand a lot, but uh, the speak is, uh, I don't know. <laughs> yes, you know. I don't speak much. Okay. So you like to increase your vocabulary or would you like to, uh, to improve your fluency? My fluency. Oh, okay, my fluency. cool. Okay. So you know what? To, to improve your fluency, you need to get more vocabulary. So that will be, that is in combo. Right? So, a very good job. Okay. I'm so glad to hear that. You will improve it. I guarantee you. Okay? So, I'm going to make you speak. So, I'm sorry for that. <laughs> Please forgive me. Okay? All right. <laughs> Who else? Mm -mm -mm. Oh, yes. Alain. How are you, sir? Hey, what is, what is your expectation or which are your expectations for this model? Well, my expectation for class is... Um, Learn more vocabulary to be more fluent. Mm -hmm. and grammar, new sentence. Oh, thank you. Uh, okay, no, that's not all. That's a really, that's very, very great um, goals. And you're going to achieve. Don't worry, because today we're going to learn a really interesting topic that you already know. Okay. And we're going to practice a lot, okay? So don't worry. Okay, we're about to okay, start. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not kidding. We're about to start. <laughs> well, we already started actually, yes, because I, I want you to speak. So you're improving because you're already practicing without yeah. notice, you see? Very good, very good. Give yeah. it to a fight, Alain. Excellent, very good. Right. Yeah, Olga, how are you, girl? Now it's still torn. Uh, I cannot hear you. Um, oh, there you go. Okay, yes, I would like to try um, speak more fluently mm -hmm. and I improve my vocabulary mm -hmm. and my pronunciation too. And the pronunciation, the same as Anita, right? Anita told me that also. Yeah, the pronunciation and the fluency. Yeah, very good. We're going to try to do our best, okay, to achieve that. And everybody will help everybody, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, who else? Thank you, Olguita. And <laughs> who's missing? Ah, Maria, yes. <laughs> Go ahead, Maria. Hi, teacher. Hey. How are you? Pretty good. What about you? I'm fine, thank you. That's nice, that's nice. Okay, so which are your expectations for this class? Mm, I hope, um, eh, how do you say mejorar? How do you say that word in English, guys? How do you say that? Improve. Improve. Yeah, Improve. you see? What happened, <laughs> Tala? Improve my, my, my English and hmm. learn learning so much. <laughs> Very good. So much. Yeah, and you have improved a yeah. lot, so that's good. Very good, excellent. We have two Maria, <laughs> sorry. We have Maria C, as in Charlie, like is the one who spoke right now. And we have Maria Q, as in Queen, right? <laughs> Hi, Maria King Tanija. How are you? What is your expectation for this class? I think with uh, uh, everybody, mm -hmm. speak more in fluency and um, and learn to more vocabulary and the pronunciation. Okay, mm -hmm. so everybody would like to uh, improve um, their vocabulary as well. The speak more fluently. All right. 
more fluently. That is the, the verb, speak more fluently. So you would like to improve your fluency, okay? You see the difference? Fluency is the, the thing that you would like to improve, but you would like to also improve your fluently, yeah? To be more fluent, you see? Oh, we have used the verb, the subject is an adjective. That's right, eh? in only one word. Okay, very good. Yes, we're going to do that. And I want to hear one more. Mario Lobo. Oh, my God. I want to see your face, sir, if it's possible. Okay. If it's possible. Let, let me one minute. Uh, uh, no. Okay. You, you can uh, yeah, calm your hair, you know. Get some perfume, um, yeah, of course. Shave your beard, yeah, that's okay. He said one minute, right? <laughs> okay. okay. Sorry, a little second. No, a little second. One second already passed, like, woo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, no, hello, Hi. good night. Good night, sir. It's been a pleasure to have you here. Could, yeah. could you please be so kind to let us know what is your expectation for this course? Well, it's the same as my partner. Mm -hmm. uh, just to get my uh, more fluent vocabulary mm -hmm. and just to learn new words. Oh, you will learn a lot of new words that you cannot imagine. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, one of the things, guys, that, thank you, Mario. One of the things that, I, okay. that my other classmate knows and some of you we will have to know is that sometimes I speak a little bit faster, right guys? And you were like, yes. 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 Oh, you, oh my God, now you speak, right, Melvin? Uh-huh. Yes. <laughs> uh -huh, yes. Okay. And he raised up his voice, you see? Yes. All right, very good. So as Melvin said, and most of you said like, okay. Guys, if you think that I'm speaking too fast, please said, teacher, can you speak a little bit slowly? And I will slow down a little bit, okay? If you heard that I, that I use a new word and you're like, what's that? Okay, let me know, okay? As well, don't worry about it, okay? And if you want uh, me to like change my pronunciation into American way, I will do it. But to be honest with you, I don't speak like that way. I speak more British way, so may I apologize for that, okay? <laughs> All right, are you guys ready? Yeah, yeah, let the party start. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are yeah. you guys ready? Yeah. yeah. All right, that's yeah. what I need. Energy. Yeah. yeah. All right, that's what I need. You're like, oh, all right. <laughs> okay, so if you were like sleepy, you already woke up. So that's good. Okay, guys. Mm -hmm. Okay, who's laughing? Benjamin? Hi, teacher. I think you're laughing like. <laughs> nice. Hey, that's good. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay. because he was, he was sitting on the chair, the he Michael. was like, woohoo, right? Okay, very good. Okay, guys, today, yeah. you see, he was falling asleep. <laughs> you will never fall asleep in my class. I promise. God. Okay, very good. Okay, guys, today we're going to learn something really important, really interesting, actually. Uh, have you heard about active voice and passive voice? Have you heard about that? Have you heard about that? Active voice? No? Yes. Okay. Okay. What about passive voice? Yes? All right. Yes. I know that you have seen it in language subject like ooh, long time ago, right? Yes, Maria Quintanilla. You're like, ooh, oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Okay, so we're going to learn that, but the active voice and the passive voice, both of them are in pass. Okay, but there's a difference. Okay, for example, uh, 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 um, let me check. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, yes. Hey, guys, what is this? What is this? Ah, 
Splash. Perfume. Yeah, it's splash. a splash. But it's like, but it's like a perfume, right? Yeah. Okay, and the teacher is going mm -hmm. to use this perfume to like spray herself. Okay, good. Okay. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. Okay, guys. So perfume. Guys, who invented the perfume? The French. The French the people. French. French. Yes. French. French. Exactly. So we can say French invented perfume in what year, guys? Give me an idea. Who can I say? And, uh, yeah, give me, give me one year. One year. 1950, maybe. 1950? No, no. <laughs> 19... <laughs> no. In the 70s, maybe. In the 70s, Mario, yes. Yes. Okay. In the seven, so you can say it. French 70s. invented perfume in the 70s. Okay. In the 70s. You see, we're talking about something that happens in the past. Right? Okay. And that's why we said invented. Because the perfume, that invention of the perfume already passed. Like, woohoo, right? Imagine the 70s. Okay. But in the first sentence, we put an emphasis on who made the invention. In this case, was the French, right? The French yeah. people. That's why we said the French invented the perfume in the 70s. Okay, good. That, guys, is the active voice. Okay, that is what we call active voice. Because we would like to emphasize who made the invention. Now, we can also do exactly the same thing, but we're going to turn the sentence. In this case, we're going to use the last part of the active voice, but in this case was the word perfume as an object. Okay, and we're going to transform into the subject of our passive voice. How we're going to do that? Mm -hmm. We're going to use the passive voice with one word that you already know, that most of the time we use it for preposition, and is the word, I'm going to send it to you to the chat, by, B-Y, do you see it on the chat? Do you see it on the chat? Okay, so today guys, we're going to see the passive with the passive boys, I'm going to put it. The passive boys with by. That is what we're going to see today. Okay. So, doing exactly the same sentence. What was the sentence, guys? What was the sentence? Uh huh. The, the French invented the perfume in the 70s. Exactly. Very good, Mildes. Oh my God. This guy is really attentive. Okay, exactly. <laughs> okay, that is the active voice. Okay, we can. Let me send it to you. Let me write it to you. The French invented. Invented. That is regular or irregular verb? Regular. Why? Because only you have to put ed at the end. All righty. Exactly. The perfume. All right. In the 70s. Okay. In the 70s. Very good. There you go. Okay, so that is the sentence. The French invented the perfume in the 70s. Got perfume, all right? With E at the end, perfume. I wrote it in the chat. I sent it in the chat right now because that is a French word. And when it's a word that is, comes from a different uh, language, we need to respect the origin of the word, okay? So it's perfume. It's perfume in French, perfume in English. Perfume, okay, very good. So. If you notice in the first sentence, we put the emphasis on who made the invention. In this sentence, guys, who made the invention? Who did it? Who invented the, French, the perfume? French, the French, French people. French. Exactly. So the first sentence is the French active people. voice. The active voice is the sentence that we have uh, wrote right now, active voice. Okay, now, how can I use the same exactly information, but now with passive voice. Okay, there you go. Okay, tell me something. In that sentence, what was the invention? What was the invention? Perfume. The perfume. 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 Exactly. Perfume. So if I want to use the same sentence, but in a passive way, 
Now, on a positive okay. voice with by, I need to like construct the sentence in the inverse, okay? We need in the opposite way. Now, I need to set the perfume. And this, guys, the perfume, the object of the first sentence in the passive sentence, or the passive voice, is going to be the subject, okay? The perfume. Okay, so if I'm talking about the past, I'm going to use was or where was. in a passive voice. Okay. Was, was, was oh, what is a verb? What is a verb? Invent. Invented. Invention. Was invented. Was invented. Who invented? The French. The French. The French. The French. Oh, exactly. So you said the perfume was invented, was invented by the French. 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 The perfume. In the 70s. In the 70s. Yeah? All righty. So that is easy peasy queasy, right? Yes, like piece of cake, guys. There you go. All right. Very good, Olguita. So the perfume was invented by the French in the 1970s. Ha, huh, but Olguita, you missed something. And I won. The, the, the year? No. No. And you know what? I, I thought that somebody will let me know something in the first sentence. The French invaded the perfume in the 17th. What I missed that in that sentence, guys? What I missed? The dot. The dot, the period. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. So, Olguita, in the sentence that you, that you wrote about the passive voice, you also forget the period at the end of the sentence. Okay? So never forget the period, okay? Because that's what it means that you still have something else to say, okay? Well, when you finish your idea, if mm -hmm. you period, that means you have finished. And there's no more to say, okay? Okay. Very okay. good. Excellent. Okay, guys, so basically that's the, act, that's the passive voice. Uh, the passive voice is, helps us to also uh, express ourselves and, for example, um, describe the inventions and who made the invention or who make a discovery or something. For example, you can say, um, Cristobal Colon discovered America, right? How you can say exactly the same sentence using passive voice. Thank you, Olguita, go ahead. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's like, <laughs> okay. Remember, what is the sentence? America was discovered, mm -hmm. no, all right. Cristobal Colón discover America, right? Okay. Who can tell me the same exactly idea in a passive way? Volunteer? America, the America was discovered was by Cristobal Colón. Exactly. America was discovered <laughs> by... By Cristobal Colón. Easy peasy queasy, right? Like piece of cake, of course. No. So you see, you're really smart, guys. I know that. Very good. Okay, so that is like a, a, a small jump in. And let me show you right now my screen because we need to like, just to make us some refresh in some clue parts of the sentences, right? The sentence is in active voice and the sentence in the passive voice. Is, is it easy guys? Any questions right now so far is it good? I have a question. Who has a question? Jose, go ahead, Jose. Um, is the passive voice? We uh, always use uh, by. Yes. No, 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 no. But today we're going to learn passive voice with by because there is a passive voice without by. Okay. But today we're going to learn passive voice with by. And tomorrow without it. Okay. That's a good question, okay. Jose. Very good. Any other question before we move on? Alain, no? Yes, go ahead. Uh, I have a question, teacher. I, I don't know if the, if the second um, sentence in the mm -hmm. passive voice, the, the, perfume, the perfume was invented. I don't know if it's correct use irregular verb in when I, I am using was. Irregular verb. Regular verb invented. Yeah, yeah. It's correct. It is correct. Was invented. Okay. Yes. Okay, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other anybody else? No? The verb is 
always in the past. Yes. That, that's what I'm going to explain right now, okay? So hold your horses, Mr. Umberto. Okay, Mr. Salvador Dali is like paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I call him that, that way because of the, of the shape of his mustache, okay? Yeah, and I like it, that's good. Uh, but you know a, that I'm teasing you. Okay, go ahead, Noemi. I have the same problem in my mind because all the time I think that when you use was aware the bird is in present. No, but do, do you remember the was aware is the passive or, or in the past tense of which verb, guys? Be. 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 To be. I'm to sorry, be. sorry, I'm sorry. Uh -huh. Thank you. You're welcome. I forgot, I forgot. Ah, uh, you see, that's why I might try to make a refresh just in case. That's okay, don't worry. Okay, let me share right now my screen a little bit. And let me just one moment. Woohoo! All righty. Okay, I already have my screen here. But I know that was some, some of you would like my screen to make it bigger or bigger. So allow me just a couple of minutes. I want you guys to let me know as soon as you're able to see my screen, please. Can you see it? Yeah yes. or no? Yes. Okay. All right, is it much better like that way? Yes. yes. Okay, cool. So you yes. see the past boys with by. All right. Okay, guys, uh, there is three uh, scenarios or three reasons why we decide to use the passive boy uh, as a best way to express an idea, okay? So let me give you the first one. Well, we don't know who did the action, for example, yeah? Uh, I'm talking about in general, okay? I'm not talking about the, the passive with by. I'm talking about passive boys in general. Another um, reason why we use the passive voice is well, there is no door of the action, or that means who made the action. How and do you say door? Door. Door. This is no door. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I know, I understand. Aha, uh -huh. I knew that you're not going to understand. Guy, anybody who can help her? You know what door means? Who and the action? Uh-huh. Door. <laughs> yeah. What's that? Anybody? Who do the action is Exactly, door? exactly. The door. Exactly. The person who did the action actually. Mm -hmm. Exactly. In this, this case. No, mm -hmm. no action. There is no door of the action. That means that the action happens and nobody did it. Yeah? I know, I understand. Okay, don't worry. I'm about to explain it to you right now. And but I just want you guys to have an idea or to get the idea when we decide to use a passive voice to express something that we like to say. Okay? I'm going to explain it. Don't worry, don't worry. And the number three is the fact is more important than the door of the action. Okay, that means that what had happened is more important than who made the action. All right. Okay. Let me give it to you an example. It's like a maker. Yeah. Mm hmm Using do, doer. Exactly. Yeah, I said door, but it's doer. Well, that is what I pronounce it. But you can pronounce it door or doer, and that's the same. That's okay. Okay, do me a favor right now. Take a look at my screen. Take a look at this part. Yes. Okay, bear with me. I need to do something with these things. There you go. Okay, cool. All right. I just want you guys to pay attention on this part. That's this one, just the one on the left. And do me a favor, uh, Umberto, do me a favor. Could you please be so kind to read for me the um, light blue letters? The it, passage changes, please. The passage changes the focus of the sentence. Mm -hmm. For the simple past, use the past of B plus past passive. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You see, the passive changes the focus of the sentence, the meaning of the sentence. Okay, so we're talking about simple past. We're going to use in the passive voice. 
the past of B and the past participle of the verbs. Okay? Do me a favor, read that square. I will give you one minute. Just read it for yourself. And after that, I'm going to explain something that I think, uh, who said that they didn't understand? Uh, Anna, right? Or Noemi? Or Adela? Who said that? What is a different, the active is action, mm -hmm. a passive, no action. Uh, no. Uh, don't, don't worry, don't worry. Okay. I just want you to read it. I'm going to explain it to you. Oh, there is an action in both uh, situations. The difference is in what part of the sentence we make more emphasize. Or what is exactly the part of the sentence that we need to, um, or that we like to, um, to, that everybody pays attention to? That is exactly the difference. The active is a president. Uh -huh. In past is an open. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think. Don't worry, don't worry. Continue reading. Continue reading. I just want you to read this. I will give you one more minute and then I will start explaining to you the situation. Just focus, guys, on the active voice. Just that. That is exactly what I need. The use, um, mm -hmm. the verb is only past. Mm -hmm. Past, past, passive. Exactly. In the grammar. In the grammar, exactly. It's only passive. Is writing the A in the book? Uh, I didn't understand your question. Oh. <coughs> oh my God, are you okay? Excuse me. No, yes. that's okay. Okay. Cool. This is a complete sentence with this. Oh no, no, no. Don't pay, don't pay attention right? to that. Don't pay attention to that. I just I want. Right. No, no, no. Don't do that. Ah, I just okay. want you to pay attention on this part. That's all. Ah, okay. Do we finish, guys? Or I'll give you one more minute. Are you all right? Yes. Okay. Okay, very good. Anybody else? Everybody finish? Okay, I think somebody is still reading it. Okay, that's good. We have to learn only the squares, say you. Yes, exactly. The, the little a, the letter a, no, no right now. Because we, you need to understand, first of all, the first part in order for you to do the exercise that is above. So okay. that's why, that's why, okay. Who can help me read uh, the first part in the active one? Thank you so much, Melvin. Go ahead. The active one, please. The first okay. sentence, please. The president opened the building in 1931. Okay, very good. Okay, guys, take a look at this part. Let's focus on the active voice right now. Only the active, okay? Don't go without the way. Okay. Let's focus on that. Okay, in this first sentence, guys, in this first one, okay, who opened the building? President. The president. The president. The president. So in this case, guys, if you, if you take a look of the meaning of the sentence, okay, or the focus of the sentence, the first one, the active one, what we like to emphasize is who make the action. Who made the action in this one? President. The president, president. exactly. So in the active voice, the emphasis is, we need the emphasis of who made the action. In this case, the president was the one who opened the building in 1931. Okay, the, impor the important part is not this. This is not the important part. The, the building was opened. That is not what we like that everybody remember what we would like to remember is that the president opened it. You see? 
Mm -hmm. You see that? Mm -hmm. Okay, yes, cool. Okay. All right. Now take a look at exactly the same sentence, but in the passive way. Okay. Very good. You see, can you help me read it? Uh, Noemi, go ahead. Can you please help me read it? This one, this one, the passive one. The first sentence. It was opened by the person in 1931. Okay, very good. Okay, guys. So, you see, we're not using, guys, in this particular sentence, we're not using the building. We're mm -hmm. using a pronoun that substitutes the building, right? The building. Which yes. in this case is it. Okay, it's. very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, but in the passive voice, if you remember, he, the, the, the last part of the active voice, it was an object. The object was the building. In the passive voice, this one goes at the beginning of the sentence, which in this case, it will be the subject. The subject of this new sentence, okay? So in this case, it will be the building. And the uh -huh. was open it. You see, was open it. You see, do you remember this part, guys? Pass of B. Pass participle. So we use the pass of B, which in this case is was was. was. Why? Because we're using it. It. And it is the was. third it. person singular, right? Mm -hmm. Remember? He she it. it. So we need to use was. Then the past participle of the verb. Open. The verb is open, but do you remember the regular verbs? Opened. Opened. Exactly. It's exactly the same or regular mm -hmm. and, and um, the past and the past participles. I am the question. Okay, go ahead. And you write, mm -hmm. um, building was open and be president. By. Is correct. By president. By. By president. Is Ex correct? Yes, that is I'm going to explain. Okay, guys, now you see we're using the past. The past, guys, is this. This is the past. This is the passive voice. Was open it. That's the passive voice. Okay. And do you remember that we're using passive voice with by? That is the by part. Okay, now, guys, the president that used to be the subject of the first sentence now is the complement of the passive voice. Why? Because in the passive voice, guys, what is the part that I would like everybody to remember? That the president opened the building in 1931 or that the building was opened by the president? <clears throat> Teacher, it's, the it's, yeah. the building. It's, cor mm -hmm. it's correct. If refer the third rule, the fact is more important than the doer on the uh -huh. action. Exactly, exactly. You see, in the first sentence, guys, my, in the active voice, the president opened by the build, uh, opened the building in 1931. I want everybody to remember who did the action, who opened the building. In that case, was the president. However, in the passive voice, I don't care about who opened the building. What I do care is that the building was opened by somebody. So mm -hmm. in that case, then the passive voice, the main idea, I focus on what was opened, okay? Active voice, who opened it? Passive voice, what was opened? In this case, what was open, guys, in 1931? What the was open? The building. The building. Exactly, exactly. So that is, what, that is one of the things, guys. You see? You see that is the difference? Yeah. Yeah? Active boys, who made the action? Passive boys, okay. What the was discovered? Exa <laughs> exactly. In the action in this case, com uh, instead of being an object on the passive boys, becomes the subject of the passive boys. You understand what I'm, go what I'm trying to explain to you? Yes? Yes. Is it clear or no? Any doubts, please? Can you repeat the, that part, please? Oh, oh, yes. Okay, for example, guys, in the active voice, the person who makes the action is exactly what I want everybody to remember, which in this case is the president, right? The president opened the building in 1931. Yeah. But in the passive voice, I do not care who opened the building. 
what I want everybody to remember is that the building was opened. That is the, the main part, okay? Are we good on that? So far, so good? Yes, teacher, a, a question. Go ahead, sir. Which, uh, which could be the rules for active, uh, active boys? The, the opposite of the th uh, one, two, three rules of passive, passive boys? It, the, which, are, which, are, which are the rules for active boys? Well, basically the ones that I gave it to you right now, the three reasons why you decide to use a passive voice. And, I, and, and what I'm going to do after this, I will try to write something on the board so I can explain it to you each situation, okay? And you will understand much better, okay? Okay. 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 But I'm going to explain it to you. Okay, but I want everybody to help me also reading this. Um, let me check. Olguita, do me a favor. Could you please be so yes. kind to read for me this second sentence in the active voice, if you don't mind? An American architect designed mm -hmm. the building. Okay, very good. Okay, that's the active voice. Guys, in this sentence, uh, what I would like everybody to remember? The American architect. The, 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 exactly. the architect. The American architect. Exactly. I want to remember that an American architect was the one who designed the building, right? But you see that is an active voice. And you see, we use the past tense of the side because obviously it's a regular verb. Now in the passive boy, can you please read it for me, Olguita, also? Hi, Olguita. Yes, it okay. was designed by an American architect. Exactly, remember it substitutes building, okay? So in this case, I would like everybody to remember that that particular building was designed, you see, was designed by who? By an American architect. An American, an American architect. Mm -hmm. So that's why, guys, I put a um, blood color here on the first part because the most important part of the passive voice is in who, what was exactly that person did, okay? Know who did it, you know, what, what was the, uh, the situation that the person did. And the last one, who can help me read it? Thank you so much for participating. Jose, go ahead, if you don't mind. And the, the last of the active. Mm -hmm. Yes, please. In, in 1964, the building owners added color of light to the top. Okay, yes, in 1964, the building's owners added color lights to the top, okay? Okay, so what I want to know if that the building's owner added a color, but yes, that is exactly what I want. Who made the action? But what happened in the passive voice? Help me read this, please, uh, Umberto. Color lights were added to the top by the building's owners in 1964. Exactly. In the passive voice, guys, what is exactly the information or that I want everybody to remember? Color lights. Exactly. Not that the owners uh, add colors to the building, no. What I want to remember is that, that that building was added some colors. And that is exactly what I want everybody to remember. Okay, let me go back uh, to something really quickly. Let me check. I, I need to explain to you something and I'm going to do it right now. <laughs> let me check. Okay, there you go. It is a color, no building. Uh -huh. Only color and it's passive is color. No, 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 no. That color is not the passive. That, 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 the, no. Remember that that is not a verb. That is not a verb. Is is something that was done, but it was not a verb. Don't. don't uh, I think you get too confused. Don't, but don't worry. I'm going to give you right now one example. Um, building. Mm -hmm. Okay. Don't worry. I'm going to explain it right now. The first part. Okay. The first rule, right, that somebody asked me, 
We don't know who did the action. Let me give you an example. Let me give you a sentence right now. Okay, read for me the first sentence. Um, Roxy or Patty? Okay. Uh huh. Uh, it was broken. No, 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 no. Oh. The, the, yeah, what, the, what, the sentence, please. My house was broken into on Friday. Oh my, my house was broken into a, on Friday. Okay, read the sentence, guys. The first uh, scenario or the first rule for the active voice. We don't know who did my, the action. We don't know exactly. Who did the action. That, what was the action? That my house was broken into on Friday. Que alguien entró a mi casa. Who did it? I don't know. You see? Yeah. But what I yes. would like to emphasize that my house was broken. You see? Mm -hmm. That is yeah. exactly what I want. Okay. Let me double check about the second one. There is no door of the action. No hay nadie quien hizo esa acción. There's nobody who did the action. That action happens, but nobody did it. Okay, let me give you an example. He was killed in an earthquake. Okay. He was killed in an earthquake. Who killed that person? The earthquake. Oh, come on. I don't know. Uh -huh. it's earthquake. <laughs> but is somebody? Is there somebody? Yes. An, er know. an earthquake is somebody? No. No. Oh. No. No. Okay, you know that, that person it was murder killing. It was a natural accident. Okay. Or we can also say he was killed in a tsunami, right? He was killed in an earthquake. He was killed in a tornado, okay? You see the second sentence, guys? I'm using the passive, but there is no door on the action. Nobody killed that person. That person was killed in an earthquake. ¿Me entienden? You understand that? Yes. Yes? Okay, let me give you the third example. Let me check this one, yes. Teacher, but in that sentence, it can be he was uh, died in an earthquake. You can say that. You can say that he was died or he passed away. You can say that. You can say it in many different ways. Porque kill is como muy trágico, right? It's a very tragic one. Yes, when I, I, <laughs> I hear kill, I, I think that that is something kill in, someone. <laughs> No, no, not exactly. Because don't translate it into Spanish. Because that is not what it, what we, what it means in English. Yes, ex I understand what you're saying that, for example, killed, eh, it is like when somebody does an action, right? That is what, exactly what you meant. But it's, but it's not what, what, uh, what uh, English people understand. So you can say he was killed, he was um, passed away. But we do understand that somebody killed that person if you said he was murder. See? Murder. murder. In that case, if okay. you use the word murder, yes, somebody killed that person. Yes? Okay. But if you use the word kill, no. My dog was run over. Okay. The, se the, the third section. The fact is more important than the door of the action. Let Take a look at the example and let me check who can help me read. Carlitos, read for me the last sentence, please. Okay, teacher. My dogs were run over by a car. Okay. Okay, guys, what happened with my dog? Run over by a car. Exactly. That means lo atropellaron, right? That's what it means. Okay. Tell me, guys, what is it more important? That the car run over my dog or that the dog or that my dog was run over? My dog was run over. Exactly. My dog was run over. Yeah, exactly. So you see, guys, the third rule. 
The fact, el hecho, is more important than the door of the action. El hecho fue, es más importante que quién lo hizo. In that case, the fact that my dog was run over was more important than the car that run over my dog. ¿Me entienden? Do you understand now? Yes. Yes? Is it clear? Yes, it's clear. Yes. Easy peasy queasy, like water or like horchata? Like water. Are you sure? <laughs> like Are horchata. You, like horchata. Yeah, Melby. Come on. <laughs> Anita, do you understand a little bit more? Uh, so, so. I know. I know. You need to get used to it. You need to practice that. Okay. That's okay. What I'm going to do right now, I will send you a homework. Ay, teacher. Yes, because it's only one no. minute for yes. Welcome. The first day. Welcome first to the day. jungle. No, it's okay. it's Monday. It's Monday, the first day. The body knows no way for me. Yeah. The teacher is really nice. Right, Melvin? He, right, oh, right, right, right. Uh -huh, no me. comments, he said. Okay. <laughs> but at the same time, the teacher is really tough. It's dura, tough. It's a good teacher. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Oh, hopefully I do my best. So I'm teacher. Ah, you're a teacher. Ah, that's good. Yes. High five. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> my colleague. Yeah, very good. Okay, so you have practiced right now, guys, the reading because you have helped me read the speaking, but now it's your time to practice the writing. Okay, and that's why I'm going to send it to you. This is going to be easy. Easy, peasy, queasy, okay? <laughs> uh -huh. Let me show it to you. What am I going to send it to you? Just for you to have an idea what you can expect. Okay, bear with me for a moment. Okay, Hi. this is really easy. Come on. Okay, bear with me. Hey, who's listening like a Mexican song, by the way? Usman. Hot Usman? Who's listening to the Mexican song? And Who's doing that? Ana Mercedes. Ana Mercedes. Humberto. All right, Humberto. <laughs> My mom is San looking TV and cooking. Oh, okay. Maestro del taco. Oh, that's the reason why. Okay, guys. Okay, so I'm going to send it to you in... Um, in a couple of minutes, okay? It's basically, guys, the sentence is in disorder. Is uh, scrabble it, and, and you and you have to unscrabble it, okay? You need to put it in order by using the passive, okay? The sentences are in active voice, and you need to put it in a passive voice. It will be like five or six sentences, no more than that, okay? Okay. Okay, guys, it was a pleasure to meet you. Have a hugs and kisses, and hopefully we can see you tomorrow, okay? Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you tomorrow. Thank you tomorrow. Thank you. Good, night. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 Good night.
Okay, guys, we're about to start, okay? Give me just a couple of minutes and we'll be right back. Hola Silvia. Hola. Hola, tiene que cambiar de reunión. Eso es lo que estoy haciendo, pero este Zoom está medio raro, le estoy hablando al suyo. Vaya, no, porque no, no me cae la llamada. Va, cierre Zoom. Eso es lo que estoy tratando de hacer y no puedo. Ah, vaya, solo permítame. Voy a ver si puedo desconectar la reunión. Porfa, 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 si es tan amable. Ya les mandé un audio a los chicos. Ah, ok. Solo permítanme. No, no les... Vaya, en este caso, no sé si puede forzar el cierre de Zoom o reiniciar la computadora. Sí, quiero ver. Ah. ¿Cierra la sesión podría ser? Sí, cierre la sesión. Lo... Ah, está. Ay, al fin, condenada cosa. Qué increíble. Espérenme. 